Hi guys, I'm Colette from Chocolate. Welcome back to my chocolate studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make colored cocoa butter. In South Africa, where I'm standing right now, colored cocoa butter is quite difficult to come by. There are certain outlets where you can purchase it, but as you may know, it's quite an expensive product here. So it's a simple thing to make and I'd like to show you how to make it. I have received several people, um, several people have contacted me to ask me how to make colored cocoa butter. So I thought, let me just make a quick tutorial so I can show you how to make it. And then the application of it. What are you gonna use your colored cocoa butter for? You probably know already, it's a very important part of creative chocolate making. But I'm gonna show you a few examples. Let's get on with it. So the simple ingredients that you're going to use for your colored cocoa butter are cocoa butter and some sort of colorant, but the colorant has to be a powdered colorant. You cannot use anything that's gel or liquid. Now the cocoa butter that you can find is either Calibro sells it in little pellets and that's great, you can use those. Uh, you can also get chunks of cocoa butter that can be grated or shaved into smaller pieces. I use um, a product which is also by Calibo, which is micro powder. Now this micro powder is a um, is just dehydrated uh, pure cocoa butter. It's so lovely to work with because it melts very quickly and in no time at all you can have your colored cocoa butter ready for application. Ordinarily you would use um, a little plastic bowl because it doesn't heat up but I prefer using a large glass or tot glass because then I can see when the little granules of the cocoa butter have completely melted. This is how I do it, you can do it in any little bowl that you prefer and also quantity you want to work with. I place about three teaspoons, heaped teaspoons of cocoa butter into my bowl and then I'm going to put that into the microwave just like when you are tempering chocolate no longer than 30 seconds, increments of 30 seconds and then stir 30 seconds stir. So we need to melt this completely before we carry on to bring it into temper. My first 30 seconds, it's already started to melt. At this point, I like to put my color in. Be very generous with your powdered color. Here I'm using Old Rose and it's Barco. You can use any colored uh, powder. Obviously, the more colorant you put into your cocoa butter, the more intense it will be. I like to use the back of a teaspoon to do my stirring. So as you'll see, it's now making, turning into a paste. Give it a very good stir. back into the microwave. My colored cocoa butter is very, very liquid and warm now. It's like water. And it's hot. At this point, you need to add another teaspoon to bring it into temper and here you stir you might need more than one teaspoon it depends on the quantity that you're making the reason I like to use a glass recipient like this is you can actually see the grains on the side of the glass as you turn it and that's a good indication of whether you have manage to melt all the little cocoa butter granules or not. You can use a thermometer to see if it is a good temperature. It's a little bit like, it's very much like chocolate. Uh, 
you have to make sure that it's nicely tempered so you're looking at anything between 28 and 30 degrees for cocoa butter. By looking at my cocoa butter now I can see that it's quite translucent so I am going to put a little bit more color in and I'm also going to put some more cocoa butter. If at this stage it thickens up too much, you can continue the, doing this process. You can warm it up again and then add some more cocoa butter to it to bring it into temper until you've got your, your perfect intensity of color. So there are so many things that you can do with your colored cocoa butter. I'm going to just show you a couple of applications. Well, I have some acetate, plastic, and I'm going to make my own transfer sheet. So it's literally just having fun and painting. There we go, wait for that to set before applying your chocolate. So of course you can use it in your chocolate mold to make your lovely little chocolate bonbons or pralines uh, extra special and there, this will really give it the wow factor where everyone will say oh, wow how did you manage to get them so shiny and so pretty so many different ways of doing this flicking it with a brush um, gosh you can you can put tape inside your mold and you can then spray it you can or you can just dip your finger like I'm going to do now just one note if you're going to use your colored cocoa butter in an airbrush if you're going to spray it it's a good idea to just filter what you have your mixture through a little piece of gauze before putting it into the pot that's going to be used for spraying because sometimes your uh, your colors your powdered colors have tiny little grits or grains in it which will get stuck in your in the pen of your airbrush machine so here, we go. here I'm just going to do four just to show you, dip and swipe. The other thing, of course, that you can do with your colored cocoa butter is use it to paint with directly onto a chocolate bar. If you want it to become thicker, you will make your colored cocoa butter and add a couple of colors of white chocolate or you know, normally you'd use white chocolate to thicken it up but uh, yeah depends what application you're using it for here i've got little tiny little sweet bars of white chocolate just to show you I'm not going to do anything fancy now but just to show you that you can use it Just a little example of, of what you could do with your colored cocoa butter. Then, lastly, but certainly not least, put those aside. You're going to use your colored cocoa butter to color your chocolate. Here I have some white chocolate that I've already brought into temper. I'm going to add it. beautiful soft pink color. I'm going to use my tinted chocolate to make my chocolate shells that have been decorated with colored cocoa butter. Oh, 
I'll let those set, pop them into the fridge and then take them out. Just now. Once your transfer sheet, once the cocoa butter on your transfer sheet is dry, has set, then we can get busy making our decorations. Pour some chocolate. Using your offset spatula, spread it. I'm going to just find the edge. And lift it up. And wait for it to set a little bit more and then we're going to cut some shapes pop it into the fridge and hopefully we've got some beautiful decorations to put on top of desserts and to wow our guests. <laughs> I'm just going to use a sharp instrument. Make sure your knife has got a nice point but use the back of it. You don't want to cut your transfer sheet and just make patterns in it. go. Look at that beautiful shine. Of course you would fill your shell and seal it to make it into a little delicious chocolate but there you go. A perfectly shiny creative artwork with your coloured cocoa butter. Right so here is our transfer sheet. As you can see, when the, when the chocolate goes into the fridge, it will naturally contract to make these amazing curls. There we go, you've got perfect shine. You can pop this into your dessert, onto your dessert, chocolate mousse, sugar-free chocolate mousse. <laughs> these are actually um, sugar-free white chocolate shards or curls. Onto ice creams, lovely. There we go, look at that. Super happy with this result. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching my demonstration or a little tutorial on how to make colored cocoa butter by yourself. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please can you just uh, just write them in the comments below this video and I will be sure to answer them. Please like the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and there will be a lot more videos to come. If there is anything specific that you'd like me to make a video on, please let me know in the comments below as well. Have a great day, thanks for watching, cheers guys. <laughs>